Right underneath performance points you'll find a section on performance counters and we'll cover more of this later on but this is simply a mechanism for creating uh, creating automatically uh, the different performance counters uh, that are or the tags that will measure Windows performance counters that are made available uh, through, um, through the regular Windows performance monitor. And again, we'll, we'll discuss this in more detail later on, but this does imply that you've got a copy of the performance monitor interface or performance monitor basic interface running on this machine. And, um, and of course, that's, uh, that's something that, uh, although it's powerful, it's not something everybody can count on. So we do have a, a superior method, and that is using health points. Now, this particular interface does not support support health points because it has to be built on a unit greater than 433 or 4300. If I switch over to my OPC interface, you'll find that OPC interface, although actually in fact that one doesn't support performance points, that does support these health points. Now the nice thing about the health points is they can be created uh, without the need for any kind of an external interface like the performance counter or the performance monitor interface. And by the way, if in looking at this, you're looking at the user interface and saying, why does, it, why does that look different? Actually, it's not your imagination. This whole section here has been moved around in the latest version of ICU. So previously in the class, we were using the older version. If you look at this now, this is the latest version of ICU, and there are slight changes here. Uh, I needed to switch over to that because I wanted support for health points at this point in the class. Now, the health points, as mentioned, uh, it can be used without the need for the Pi Performance Monitor interface. And as I said, it needs to be greater than that in order to work. For it to, uh, the Union version needs to be greater than that in order for this to work. Now, within Health Points, you'll find a very specific type of point called the Interfaces Information Point. That's a unique kind of a point. It's kind of a central repository for all of the different interfaces to write their current status. So it is a string tag and there can be only one interface inter information point, that's the name of it, interfaces information point. There can only be one of them per Pi server because all of the different interfaces are going to be writing to that one point. So every 30 minutes each interface is going to look for that tag if it's been configured and it's going to write to, the, uh, to that tag a certain string values and the string values will be things like, well, if you take a look at this, here's the type of messages you'll see. It's uh, it's just showing the name of the computer, the list of IP addresses. Uh, for example, we've got multiple IP addresses here, and the reason for that is because uh, this particular computer must have multiple network interface cards on it. So all the different statistics about the interface are going to be uh, stuffed into this performance point. It is a string tag and as I said every interface that's configured to use it will um, will be writing to this same pi point. And once again if it wasn't obvious, if I didn't make it obvious before you can see to create the performance point you would simply just right click and create that performance point. In fact all of these tags that's how you would create these. These are health tags that are being supplied by the interfaces themselves. So, for example, if I want to measure the I.O. for this interface, I simply create that health tag. And that is now a health tag that I can make use of in, you know, in any of my uh, clients like ProcessBook or DataLink. 